Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Eric here from Black Market Exchange. I know you get your cup of coffee heading into work right now, and it's time for you to get your stock market fixed right here on Market Mondays. You never seen nothing like this, Splash Brothers with the aim. I wish it, wish it would, boy. It's all about the, all about the money. It's all about the, all about the money. It's all about the, all about the money. Welcome to another Market Mondays. Today is February 9th, so you know what that means. Valentine's Day is getting close, fellas. What better gift to get your lady than what? A subscription to Black Market Exchange. Yes, I know. Thank me later. But I digress. Um, this week's show, we're going to talk about Radio Shack, Twitter, GoPro, as well as Pandora. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. First up is Radio Shack with the ticker symbol RSH. Um, last week, it was officially delisted from the New York Stock Exchange or the NICE. And that means that it's no longer going to be on a formal exchange. It's going to be an OTC or over-the-counter exchange. Um, they officially filed for bankruptcy last week. And they're selling 2,400 of their 4,000 stores in which Sprint will actually co-brand a lot of those stores that are still left. The rest are going to end up being closed. So the Sprint Radio Shack double occupancy is going to be both stores. When you go to a Radio Shack, you're going to see Sprint with their side and Radio Shack with their side. Radio Shack was as high as $35 in mid-2007, but it's now a measly 13 cents. What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about? What you talking about, What you talking about? <laughs> Next up is social media site Twitter under the ticker symbol TWTR. Um, they reported their earnings last week, and even though their user growth is declining, they actually show that the company can make a little bit of money. Their EPS or earnings per share is six times what it was this time last year, and actually reported a net gain for the year as opposed to 2013 where they had a net loss. Twitter is pretty much back at its IPO or initial public offering price, and it jumped $10 after they had their earnings released last week. The next major level is going to be around $54, but it remains to be seen if Twitter can hold on to the recent gains to get to that point. GoPro under the ticker symbol GPRO has been declining ever since it reached its high of $98 back in October of last year. Currently, the stock is trading at under half of that price, and its recent losses came from its poor guidance for 2015. When GoPro released their earnings last week, everyone was buying in because they knew they were going to have high revenues from the holiday season, and it did. However, it's no longer the holiday season, and life is back to normal, including the purchase of their cameras. GoPro announced weaker um, predictions for sales this coming quarter compared to what analysts are expecting, and once that happened, the stock price fell like the Titanic. Our last update is on the streaming company Pandora under the ticker symbol of P. Um, Pandora continues to crumble as more and more streaming services are becoming available. Beats and Spotify are big players now, and many are wondering why pay Pandora for ad-free music when they can get an even better experience with some of these other streaming um, programs. The stock is down over 50% in the past year and dropped 21% instantly after the recent earnings last week. That concludes this week's Market Monday. Stay tuned as we got Teaching Thursdays this week. Um, continue to check out our Extra blog and all the other platforms that we do have. Our social media is always jumping. And um, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube page as well as um, sign up for our subscription to our website where you can get our bi-weekly newsletter as well as see the BMEX TV videos which can give you a little bit more in-depth strategy development for your investing experience. Peace.